Uh, that you, men you have to be thing? drafted? No, it's like everyone has their own opinion. Like, I respect everyone's individual opinions, but I just don't want my right to take in, be taken away because I'm a woman and you want me to fight in a war. Okay, your opinion is your No, opinion, I don't want I your right to vote to be taken away. I just want you to... Fight in a war. ...be drafted. <laughs> That's your thoughts. <laughs> Yeah, but don't you think that would be fair? Like, it's, okay, no, so, too freaking bad. <laughs> you don't think you don't think it's fair? No, that's not what's happening now. Why? We why got would the that upper not be hand? Because I, I can't fight in a war like how a man could. And if what I do was you mean? trained to, if I was trained to, I would. Yeah, I would love to. But, but I'm not tra not trained. I'm not knowledgeable on war methods and yeah, techniques so? on how to defend my so? country. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for all the love and support. If you're new here. Welcome to the channel and also don't forget to sum up to the channel by hitting the like and the sub if you haven't done already. If they train women the same way they train men, I don't think it's going it's going to be the same thing because basically men and women are different, but some of them do not want to to believe it that there's a difference between the man body and the female body. That's so, just an opinion. Like, if you want me to fight a war, that's your opinion. I like where I'm at right now, and I like my yeah, right so to vote. here, let me ask you I this. Like that's, right to vote. that's amazing. Yeah, let me I ask like it my to you right like this, then. Vote. Do you think it's unfair, then, <laughs> that in order for men to be allowed to vote and to receive other sorts of benefits, they have to register for the selective service, which makes them subject, potentially subject, to forced military conscription? Do you think that's unfair? No. You don't think it's unfair? No. Nope. Why is it not unfair? Because you're a man. Do what does job. that have to do with anything? Do your job. It's crazy how a woman can say, this is a man's job. This is what a man's supposed to do, right? But as soon as a man opens his mouth to say, this is what a woman should do, it's a problem, right? Those type of women, they want equality. I think some of them don't understand the meaning of the word equality. I think when they have equality, they still want to pick and choose. You walked into your house with three men playing with your children's toys, with your wife in the bathroom disrespecting you. You weren't too calm about it. I believe what she said about the domestic violence. Now, let's say, guys, let's say this, what this man is going through right now. Let's say this happened to one of you guys. What would you have done in this? in this situation. Because again, logic tells me that that's like, I don't need you in any discussion on it. But the only point I want to make to both of you is none of it is ever justified. I don't care what you think her conduct is in terms of disrespect, not justified. There is another way to handle it. You could have walked out of the house. You walked out before, you could have walked out then. How is she going to tell the man to walk out on his own house? He's the one that paying the bills, but he got to leave the house for the other man. This doesn't make any kind of sense to me. Let's keep watching. On your part too, Mrs. Sampson, is never justified, no matter what the reason. Get away from it. Get out of it. And when you know you're this volatile toward each other, just stay away. There's no need to keep going back and forth. When you came home and saw another man in the bed, you knew it was over there. You well, knew. Yeah, I love my wife, and I, and I really, and I, I value family, and that's something that I learned from my family. And I, I wanted to make this work. And I went far and beyond Call of Duty, Honor, to make my marriage and my family work. I did that. You didn't go far and beyond Call yes, of Duty. Yes, ma'am, I no, did. did. All you did was what you were supposed to do. Here we go with those fake ass tears. I don't understand how some of them really think that those tears are going to save them from what they have done. That's what marriage is. All right, now, what, what can I do for you? What's the matter, Mrs. Sampson? Nothing, I'm just, I'm just ups, a little bit upset right now, that's it. But I just want right now for him to just, just he know the situation that we're in right now, me and my children. We're living in one bedroom with, my, with a family member of mine, and I just, can't. Just be quiet, Mr. Jones. And this doesn't make any kind of sense to me. She is upset. He should be the one that be upset. She caught doing whatever that she was doing. Now she really think that she has the right to be upset about the situation. Right, let's keep listening. And we just need just a little bit of help, you know, just something. I'm trying. So you want to get your own place? That's all. I want to Have get you my found own a place? place. Yes, I found a place. And how much would the rent be? The rent is five fifty a month, and it's a two bedroom. 
She's never responsible. She calls me and she asks me for the for money. Alonzo, I need money for the for uh to pay this rent. So I give her this money or whatever, and then the next thing you know, she's moving. She never she never took the money that she was given to uh pay, pay the, the rent. rent. I take I uh send the he kids home the with the, excuse he me. He's not telling the truth right now. Ma'am, you, you didn't you didn't let truth. me interject in on her. Ma'am. I'm telling the truth. I, I, I send my clothes home. To her. I'm not. Just keep talking she to me. I send them the clothes. Truth. I send them home with new clothes, new shoes, and everything. And then when she send them back. They have none of these things. Where are these things so going? So why don't you have a custody order? Why don't you have custody of them since she's not taking care of them? That's what I plan to do, Your Honor. Plan to do? Yes, ma'am. It's yes, been ma six years. Why is he just planning to help me? It's well, been six I don't know. Years. Maybe why he just he got to the point when he came to court and he decided me. I plan to help. He's never given me anything. He's never given me anything. What do you mean anything? her family? She, should, she just told you right now, Your Honor, that she doesn't live by herself. She lives with her cousin. It's because it's not my own. I'm homeless. This is this is the reason I'm homeless. why. This is the reason. This is the. When is the judge really taking a side when when it was her turn to talk? The judge let her speak, but why why is it when it's the man turn to explain the situation? She's not allowing him to do that. Do you guys? Do you guys think that she's speaking sign? Men are not attracted to masculine energy. They're attracted to feminine energy. Okay? So your necklace, that's feminine. Jewelry is feminine, right? Okay. Money yeah. is feminine. Cars are feminine. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, money is feminine? Yes, money is feminine. Break that down. Okay. You got to no, break no. me down. Now. Okay. So anything, attractive energy is feminine. Attraction is about femininity, right? So when you talk about women are attractive, attraction pulls attention towards it. Anything that's operating in feminine energy is pulling attention towards it. So women are feminine. They're in the feminine vessel and just them existing pulls attention towards them. Okay. Jewelry, it pulls attention towards it. It's feminine. Money. Now look who is talking. Look, look at this woman talking, right? She's trying, she is trying to look like a man. What does that mean? She said a lot of words, but I don't understand. I don't have any idea what she's, what she really trying to explain here. But let's let's keep listening. Money it pulls attention towards it. Now you can put money in a masculine position and make it move, right? But money in itself, sitting still, will draw attention towards it. So the only way that you know that a man has masculine energy is based on how much feminine energy he acquires. What about a right? gun? Hmm? What about a gun? It's all feminine. Everything. A gun is feminine. Yes. Yes. A Expl gun. Explain to me how a gun is feminine. Anything that pulls attention towards it is. Listen. Anything because listen, listen. Planet Earth, Mother Earth is feminine, and everything that exists in Mother Earth is feminine. This is kind of BS. All she was saying is was a bunch of words. I don't see and I don't understand where she's trying to go with this. I don't understand what's going on with this world. I don't know where she get it, where she where she gets all those nonsense from. I don't know who she giving advice to, but what I can say, this is some BS. There's something wrong with some people in this world. Now, take a look at this. Allie, this is from Arizona, and I'm your certified bad. Say, say your occupation one more time for me, just so they. Can... My occupation is a certified bad. Certified bad bad bit. Or boss, I, very much baddie vibes. Baddie, like full time what? baddie, <laughs> no breaks. What? So it's very much full time. What does that? What does that mean? Can you explain that? It's just a lifestyle. Like it's. I mean, if you get it, you get it. The rules are there. I mean, I feel like every girl can, every woman can be a certified baddie. It's just the mindset, and it's a full time job. What, what would be the dictionary definition of a certified bad? Bitch? I. Now, guys, I know. Some men want a bad bee in the life, right? They want her to look like a bad bee, but not behaving like one, right? So now, if you guys have to pick between bad bee, would she be one of your would would she be one of your options? But let's keep listening. I would have to say, I mean, if just like toning it down completely, just a woman who's confident in herself, does whatever she wants for herself, nobody else, just women whatever men whatever anybody can be a certified bad bitch is it's that just, the, it's is, just i think it's just the level of confidence and it's the mindset for sure this is crazy now if she claims she claimed that she is a bad bitch so those women 
that she didn't want her now what do you guys think going what do you guys think they might say about himself i ain't gonna lie i've been jumping from relationship to relationship it's hard to stay loyal when you're too cute because every single one me, and i'd be cheating she was a bad b and now this man he believes that he can be he can be with one woman because he is too cute for this nonsense a man like this is supposed to have multiple women right but when reality hey it's not the same thing well people are entitled to feel however they want to feel <laughs> this man why he believe that he's a cute guy so make sure you guys comment down below what you think about this and as always i do appreciate each and every one of you guys for taking the time to watch your video if you're new if you're new here once again welcome to the channel and before you leave don't forget to show some love to the channel by hitting the like and the sub button if you haven't done so already hey listen i have some merch guys make sure you guys make sure you guys go to the store and check them out you might find something that you like and um get yourself something get yourself something nice hey listen i'm out